right, let's go down to our boundary commentators tonight, Jared Healy and Max Stevens, to find out what the coaches had to say at the first break. Thanks, Peter. Well, it was a very worried uh, Wayne Schimbush that fired up his charges. He demanded a better performance because he thought they were a little bit lethargic during the first quarter. He told them to play in front, and it was costing them goals, the backman playing from behind. He gave Delina a bit of a rap and fired up the rest of the charges, wanting a more direct and committed style of play. Max, what they have to say in uh, the Crows camp? Well, pretty similar situation with Graham Corns, uh, Jared. Uh, an interesting move early in the game when we saw Scott Hodges go to the half forward flank and Rod Jamison a full forward. Corns, he made three key points. He said, pay attention, kick to the open spaces, and let's see a, a little bit of desperation in the tackling department. And the stats fairly even, even as far as the kicks and handballs go. Marks, not much difference there. Breaks from the centre in favour of Adelaide. Interesting. Yeah, so I thought they'd favour uh, Micken more than they favour North Melbourne. They probably do uh, in some respects, Don, because Gallagher's off the ground and Angus is doing the ruck as we start the second quarter. Micken does well again. Clue fires out the hand pass. This is Bickley. We started fairly well, and so did this guy for North Melbourne. Speaking of fairly, Ian Fairley kicks to half forward. No mark taken down there by McCarthy. McDermott slaps the ball towards the boundary line, and that will be a boundary throw-in. There's a North Melbourne player down. It's Rock, but he seems to be back on his feet, limping, though, near the edge of the square. Number three, you can see him there, left the screen. There you can see Angus and Micken with Gallagher having a stint on the bench. Spargo. McGuinness, possession number four. A fairly quiet opening term, at least by his standards anyway. Mark almost taken by Roberts, hits the ball into the open spaces. Schwoss goes through pretty solidly. Tregenza tries to get it to a teammate in the person of his skipper. And that was successful, but the mark again taken by Ian Fairley. Probably North Melbourne's most consistent player at the moment. Playing centre-half back and had a shot for goal in the first quarter. I think Micken might have lost that in the lights, yes, actually. Yes, he, he did, Pete. Marshall picks it up well from a standing start oh, Murphy edged out of that one and it's like Skittles down there becoming pretty slippery I think we might see more of that as the evening progresses there's a little bit of dew falling on the ground and it's going to be a ball up 50 metres from the Adelaide goal oh it's good to see these umpires letting it go a bit not playing those ticky touch with free kicks when they dive into Gavin Dora and Anton McKernan a good Scottish name Ball at half or good tackle put on by McDermott. Oh, a very oh, strong oh, tackle. Oh, 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 oh. Don't agree, Don. I agree with a tackle, but I don't know about the free kick. Well, there's a kick down the ground. It's a free kick relay down the ground. It's going to be a kick. It might be no, it's not as Jamison going to take it. Against Shoal. Well, let's have a look. That's Abernathy. Just a little late, wasn't he, Schwoss? Schwoss yeah. was, Schwo uh, Shoal also gave away a free kick for holding his opponent, but it doesn't matter. There were two of them there. Well, I'll put Jamison under pressure here. I'll say he's normally a pretty good kick for goal, Pete. He's got one. Well, he shouldn't miss this one. He's almost directly in front. As he comes in, stabs. And the goal umpire says it's a goal. This week on 7 News. Speed cameras. You may hate them, but the state government says they're saving... Micken taps down. Still the ball to be won out of the centre. McDermott tries to do just that. Larkin tackles him, it's going to be an Adelaide free kick and it will be taken by Liptak who goes straight Martin leads out like a full forward what David Dent did in the old days down at Arden Street straight down the ground they need more of that at the moment because they're being outplayed by a very determined Adelaide combination Chandler he's really come up through the ranks Spargo to German one of their leading possession gatherers in the first quarter. He kicks the half forward and McCarthy takes the mark. Mm, looking, for lucky. looking for 50 metres. Really, I don't think it was there. It's a good kick by German. It was a good build-up, actually, by North Melbourne. Let's see. There's the mark. No, no. no, no. Well done, right. umpire. Good umpire. Yeah, very great job, actually. He's kicked two, McCarthy. And from a similar distance out at the other end, of course, he kicked both of them right on 50. This will be three. Same distance. And he's got his right kicking boots on. That's a goal. So three goals to McCarthy. And three similar... You see here a little bit of posing. Maybe he just tripped himself. 
What a magnificent kick. Maybe 49 metres, but still a great kick. Well, back to the back to the centre. We have Klug going to Daryl Hart towards the centre of the ground. The kick off the ground. He's a good player, Evan. And he's a class player. And he gets it to centre wing, and the mark has been taken down. Barely doing very, very well. Red Allison, the short one, to the half forward line. A brilliant mark taken by Jose Ramiro. Sounds like. A Latin lover, Jose Ramiro. As we see Mark Micken at the half-back area. Towards centre wing it goes. As the Crows, it's a free kick going the way of North Melbourne. It'll go to Anthony Rock. Micken at the back. Good mark. As we see coming away out of defence, that's Tony McGuinness. And a good mark is taken at half back, and that's by Scott Lee. The Crows doing well and looking dangerous. To centre wing, a hand pass inside to Abernathy. Abernathy playing very, very well. Kicks to the full forward line. Over the back, the Crows players wait for it. Here's Hodges. Taken away by Michael Martin. The North, North Melbourne supporters love him. Spargo has created the loose man. It's a short one to Carey. Carey the long bomb in towards full fourth. They need someone to take a mark. McCarthy taps it on. Ramiro trying to get in a hand pass. He does. McCarthy swings around on the right foot. Is this his fourth goal coming up? It's not. He puts it through for a point. The Crows bring it to the half-back line. Oh, good, desperate play. This is Bartlett trying to get in a hand pass. Bartlett from half-back brings it towards the half-foot line. Hodges at the back as the fly. Good mark, Scott Hodges. No, he's paid that. Paid. Well, Scott Hodges, three bites of the cherry, but he took it. Now, the lead is on by Jamison, but Hodges is going to have a kick here distance to be a doubt from 55 metres has gone the oh, torpedo punt, kick. a beautiful kick a one on one contest, in front was Murphy, couldn't grab it, Peter German, quick hand pass Larkin, back it comes to German, Bickley, was he grabbed, umpire called play on good umpiring too, and that kick was out of bounds on the full, so it'll be a penalty kick taken by Filky Filky will have to kick from the boundary line he is only about 30 metres out, but they've looked good to Crow. 7-2 plays 5-4. This will be a beautiful kick if he can put it through. He drifts it a little bit to the right. Punched away by Martin. The ball actually had crossed the line, so it'll be a throw-in deep in that forward pocket. So boundary throw-in. Klug taps down McDermott. Boot the ball pretty quickly. And Martin rushes it through for one behind. Eight and a quarter minutes left in the term. Scoreboard showing Adelaide still in front. They led by 11 points at the first change. Allison to kick the ball back into play. 7-3 plays 5-4. This is Delita, who had a great first quarter. This is position number 13 for the former Fitzroy player. Marshall, or well, Mark, I would have thought he could have got the free kick as well. Went for the tackle. Hand pass. It was a good tackle. Clue. To Filky, they kicked the Crows' first goal, and really it was a gem of a snapshot. Hodges up in front, Delina again, position number 14. What a match he's having! Lee tracks it well, runs into Carey, McGuinness. Four possessions in the first term, he's doing a little bit better so far in the second. Pete Maynard's doing uh, very, very well on Carey. Been quiet. There's there been some good performances by Backman tonight. Martin doing particularly well. Really running and attacking that ball from half back or full back. One of North Melbourne's best players so far. McGuinness, was he lying on it? Not for long enough, perhaps. Hurried hand pass. Fairly again. Tackled well by Filthy. He got a quick boot to the ball. Lip tack runs straight at it. And Martin, that took courage. Martin might still come up with it. It's tunnel ball. Schwoss, uh, Tregenza it was, off the ground. Spills for Fairly. A quick kick by the North Melbourne defender. And out it comes to Cal Delita. 
The leader on right centre wing. On the rock. To Chandler. Oh, went between his legs. Good enough to recover well. Chandler. Kicks to 50. MacArthur carry it was up. Larkin. Centering oh, kick. kick. To Schwoz. Reads it well. Rushes one tackle. It was actually Carey and McCarthy. Bartlett. Trigenza. Trigenza on right half back flank. And Allison leading out well. Schwoz. The leader. He's everywhere, Carl De Lina. Position number 15. Roberts, the refrigerator. Well, he's now more like an esky. <laughs> Loose ball to be what on centre wing again. Chandler sees the ball over the boundary line. With Marshall and also Lee, it will be thrown in next to the interchange area. Well, we can only ponder what could have happened had Allison have gone straight down the ground instead of bringing him back into squash in the centre. It's just all that has happened, the ball has come across the opposite side of the wing and another throw in. Where had he have gone straight on, it definitely would have gone down to the full forward line. Centre wing. The performances by Adelaide, there's Wayne Schimmelbush and Graham Corns. Now they are not sitting in the same box, even though it looks that way at the moment. Stevens to the half forward line. This is Bartlett. Can give off a hand. No, he doesn't. He chips it in still. That was good play to Lee. Good honest goer. Scott Lee around the boundary line to Hodges, who's now playing in half forward, of course. And it'll be a throw in. But Adelaide have surprised North Melbourne. Adelaide's best performances this year have been at home. Certainly they've, they've come out tonight pretty ferocious. They've controlled the uh, centre area. Larkin hooks it back into play. Angus. Spargo. The left foot, the lead was on. Was that holding? And by Paul, play on. Adelaide through Bickley. Around the corner. This is McIntyre. Started on interchange. McIntyre looking for the short one. Lip tack has it punched away by Allison. It's on centre wing. There was some good, strong tackling. Hand pass comes across to Peter German. Looking for Spargo. Spargo lopes after it. He's got it. Looking for the short one. The chip pass to the pocket. Rock has good marked. Kick. A good kick by Spargo. As he just put it up in front of Rock. He could jump up, wrap his chest around, and it was very, very hard. The, def the defender in Bickley to punch that away. But the Rock has not scored a goal tonight. He's on a very acute angle, but only 25 to 30 metres out. Couldn't make the margin of five points if he kicks this. Anthony Rock, little rover. The drop punt looks pretty good. And it's a goal. That goal by Rock. Angus oh, tried to back kick it. Marshall, it was finally for the Crows, who kicks to half forward. Looked almost like a high tackle on... Uh, Lip tack. Umpire says play on. Now that is a free kick. It will be brought back. <laughs> the umpire was going in the opposite direction. Confused everybody. Confused everybody. What's he awarded the free here? kick here. In the right way to the man in front, Martin, but ran back the other way. All the players wondered what was going on. The 50 metre penalty out of it all. So Michael Martin, the idol of the North Melbourne crowd. And one of the toughest fullbacks you'd find. Takes the 50 metre penalty and the kick to half forward. Oh, well done. And Mickin. He's doing well in the centre bounces. He did that particularly well against St Kilda. Dropping across half back and taking marks. Well, he had the compliment of Gallagher being taken off at quarter time too, Don. Hodges takes his first mark. Starting to come into the game a bit. Still like to see him at full forward though, wouldn't you? Yes. He moves around a lot up there. Speaking of moving around, I think Martin is relishing the task he has at hand at the moment. Murphy's starting to play from behind, Pete. Took four goals in the first quarter. Hodges again, marking in front of Angus this time. He kicked 150 goals last year in Adelaide, and to do that in any competition, you've got to be brilliant. And yet he's on the half-forward flank. Murphy in front that time, loses the ball. It's becoming pretty slippery out there. Abernethy taking the hand pass from Liptak. Tregenza overruns it. Allison paddles forward and North Melbourne should be able to get out of Guess danger who, here Galena. having a brilliant match and a good hip and shoulder bump Lee oh, I don't know who, uh, excuse me. he was after there the Mitsubishi sign I think was nearest and it's going to be thrown in on centre wall wow, that would have been pretty tough to play that for deliberate 
Although that was probably the intention. Angus to do the ruck work against Micken. Greatly improved player, Mark Micken, after he had that calf uh, operation. And a big difference to him. Is McDermott tapping it out. The kick by McCarthy off the side of the... Well, this is McCarthy taken. Who's it? We've got two players wearing those um, thigh bandages as McCarthy goes short to the half-forward line. Free it's kick. Free kick. And by finding that one against Alan Bartlett. And it will go to Johnny Longmire. Maybe a little justice there because when the ball went down forward a little earlier in this quarter, it was Bartlett who really did have hold of Longmire. And the umpire just did not see it. Wayne Swass is the other player wearing those uh, corset-type things around, up high around the groin area. John Longmire from 40 metres, directly in front. Normally a good kick, and that's a beautiful goal. From Longmire's first goal, North Melbourne leading by one point. They're trailed by 11 at quarter time. Rock through some rather heavy traffic at midfield. He'll kick to half forward. The target was Romero. In fact, he's still got it. Larkin needs support. McGuinness at the bottom of the pack. And McGuinness kicks toward, kick towards right half forward. Allison got the front position and certainly made almost made something out of nothing there. Tregenza from a standing start kicks towards half forward. Clued goes for the hand pass. Murphy, who got four on the opening turn, can he make another one? Runs his full distance. He won't score from there too far out. 65 metres. Kicks up towards full forward. No mark taken. And Roberts, plenty of time to do the necessary tidying up work. Chips it in short. Rock. Having a lot of ground at the moment. And a shot for goal, only minutes back. Oh, well done, Stevens. Yes. And McGuinness trying to get it off him. Stevens again. Rock. Kicks under plenty of pressure. Lee and Spargo. He kicks the ball across his body, down towards half forward. The spoil was from Roberts. Allison with a long hand pass. Larkin. Away he goes. Matthew Larkin, number nine for North Melbourne. Long kick up towards half forward. Longmire, that ground getting pretty slippery at the moment. Very hard to turn on a threepenny bit as Longmire did just then. Micken kicks out towards the centre wing. Tregenza getting plenty of possessions at the moment from Schwoss. And he kicks down to Filpi. Here's a chance for Adelaide. Can they really make something out of this? Tries to soccer it off the ground again. Not successful. Pick up by German. If that wasn't good play by Phil, he could have run about 50 metres with that ball. Instead of passing it off, there's McDermott working hard as usual. Brett Allison. Doing all right, Brett Allison. Back, back pocket. Delina. Fairly. North Melbourne coming down the centre of the ground. It's a high floating kick, though, over the back. It's McIntyre. McIntyre, oh, the clue's got his name written all over. This one couldn't hold it, the ball getting slippery, as Don Scott said. Fairly again, an easy mark dropped that time by Larkin. Scott Lee went in hard, trying to tackle. Oh, Bundled that's a over kick. the line. Free, free kick, kick for Lee, yes. Yeah, so North Melbourne player had no intention of going to the ball then. Eh? Uh, Lee gets on with the game. That's good play, although not a good kick to the pocket. Probably should have been better off down the left side forward, Don. Point the margin. North Melbourne lead a very, very evenly contested match. Tapped down by Clue. This is Anthony Rock. Nice hand pass. German almost caught. Breaks the tackle, then kicks long to the half forward line. Good lead. And a good mark. Taken by McCarthy. And McCarthy will give it to Longmire. Beautiful lead by the football. He's dropped that one. It's a difficult one. He's running at full pace with the slippery ball. Gets a left foot kick to the half forward line. This is Anthony Stevens after it. Oh, Trek Ginza waited for it. And allows Swash to come in and grab it. On to German is a very good kick at goal. Peter German. There's the kick. It's right through the middle. Peter German's first goal in North Melbourne Bates. Adelaide through Micken. Into attack. Good tackle by Fairley. Shoal follows it up, close to the boundary line with Abernathy, and the ball crosses it about 15 metres from the behind post. Under eight minutes left in the half. Bruce Linder about to come onto the ground. We'll see who's going off in just a couple of moments. McDermott was set to take a kick, nearly got one in. Klug, is he held with the ball? The umpire said yes, it's going to be a North Melbourne free kick. Interesting matchup. Scott Lee's gone on to McCarthy. 
Seven and a half minutes left. At the back, Micken went for the spec. He couldn't take it. Delina spins out of the pack without the ball. Angus taps it back to Chandler. And there's a whistle on play. And it's going to be a free kick to North to be taken by number nine, Matthew Larkin. Larkin is at the right half-back flank. Felky and Angus. Free That's kick. a free kick Should on the shoulder. Free kick. I haven't missed a thing, hardly, these um, umpires tonight. No, they're doing a good job. McIntyre coming off. Lindner on for the Crows. Roberts punches down. Schwoss. Marshall. Liptak. Towards half forward. And the mark is taken by Klug. Does well, Klug, coming into those centre, running off centre half forward into the centre square. Really does attack the ball hard there. Deceptive player, maybe it's his long stride. We think he's slow, but maybe it's a long slide. A long stride as Gallagher comes on and Angus off for North. He's 40 metres out. To all intents and purposes, directly in front. That looks a pretty good kick, and it's a goal. Micken again dominant the centre bounce, then goes and grabs it again. Mark Micken, good football. On to Lee. Lead of the half forward line. Filky waits at the back. It's punched away into the wide open spaces. This is Jeff Chandler to centre wing. Micken again getting into the position. Teeth playing well. And confidence starting to lift, Peter, the way he's jumping at the centre bounce and also jumping up to take his marks. Well, he took 17 marks in a losing side against the kill. Oh, a big fly over the back was by Hodges. Just think it wouldn't be a bad time right now to move Hodges down to the goal square. Is he, you know, natural full forward. They love kicking goals. <laughs> He's picking up a kick across half forward and doing all right. He hasn't had a sniff down at full forward at past weeks. Let well, him get a bit of form. He's coming back from injury, though. The Filky kicks it now. One-on-one -on -one contest. Martin against Murphy. Martin slips over. Murphy back after him. That was him. well done by Martin, wasn't and, it? Oh, Martin's won this quarter against Murphy. And, uh, of course, Murphy kicked most of his goals in the first quarter on, on, Roberts. Big, on Roberts. Mark Roberts, former Sydney Swan and Brisbane Bear. There's Murphy. Can he kick another one? He tries to get in a hand pass. That was good by Liptak onto Jamison. Jamison fires in a goal. And he's a smart little mover too, Liptak. Not frightened to get in where the action is. And one behind to the Adelaide Crows. So we see the scoreboard dead set level. 8-4 apiece. And under five minutes left in the half, Addison, which is a famous football name at North Melbourne. Addison goes in short, and Chandler takes the mark in the back pocket. He's nearly back to where the ball started. Long kick coming up from him. Gallagher the target. Micken at the back, got one hand to it. Larkin ridden into the ground, and the ball spills free. Adelaide fans looking for a free kick. There was none there. Felky. Gets the hand pass back to Klug. On to Marshall. Centering kick with the left foot. Should have no one it. can mark it. Back it comes again to Liptak. Oh. And the ball will bounce out of bounds in front of Martin and Murphy. So a throw in right next to the behind post. Bad mistake by Scholl coming over the back then. Should have punched the ball down. Great play, Liptak. They deserved a goal. That... It's a likely little customer. A huge pack of players in there. Oh! The goal off the ground. It is. North Melbourne through Scholl, the centre of the ground, a bad bounce, eludes Micken. Tapped on by Filky. Hart back to Filky. They're looking good, Adelaide. Out to the wide open spaces. As we see Tregenza, he's very, very quick. He ran away from Swass. Abernathy back to Tregenza. That's great play by the Crows. The short one is on. Here's the lead. Oh, great pass, and McIntyre is marked. The McIntyre has only just come onto the ground, replacing Jamison. Likely fellow, this McIntyre. Looks like he's lost a little bit of weight from the start of the year. Got big, broad shoulders. Good shape for a footballer. Well, Peter McIntyre, a chance to put the Crows two goals in front just before half time. There's the kick, a beautiful kick. It's a goal. So, two quick goals for the Crows through McIntyre and McGuinness and they lead by two goals. Peter McIntyre, not a stranger to AFL football, played down at Geelong, didn't really make a name for himself down there, went back home to Deniliquin, South Adelaide, and now doing well with the Crows. Well, the Crows leading by two goals just before half time, we've got under three minutes left in the half been a top game so far oh 
an accidental trip <laughs> because uh, the umpire was involved there. Gallagher didn't help North Melbourne's cause. Two crows collide. McDermott finally. Schwoss out of the centre. Almost. Ball kicked down towards half forward by Bickley. McGuinness. Well shepherded. Centering kick. Klug in front. This could be another goal. Has he got it? Slip tack. One behind. Just dragged down at the crucial moment. So the difference is now 13 points with two and a quarter minutes well, left in the term. 10 5 to 8 4. He's been impressive, uh, that little lip tack. He's very dangerous up there. Red Avison to kick in again. It's interesting what they're doing here. North Melbourne have got their players at centre half back. They spot them. The Crows have got the oh. ball. Excuse me. Please. Murphy a little bit late. Is that a booking dog? Yes, the umpire is taking out the pad. Meyer, but Martin's all right. But what they're doing, they're being ringed. The North Melbourne players are at centre half back, centre half forward, depending on which side you're looking at. And they're being ringed by the Adelaide Crows. But they are getting the ball well out of full back, North Melbourne. So maybe they should put a couple of men in, the, in there, in the round centre half back, the Crows. John, is that uh, part and parcel of the game, isn't it? Those sort What's of that? knocks. You love that stuff. Well, it's not a case of loving it. I mean, um, he was on a collision course there, wasn't he? Well, we can't show it to you because the booking has been made. But uh, I think he's all right. That's a, big, that's a big thing. I'll tell you what, you get hit him with a hammer to hurt Michael Martin. You wouldn't hurt him with a hammer on each hand. <laughs> <laughs> the kick to centre of the ground, Micken. Oh, look at that. He is dominating this game, Micken. On it goes. As we see the kick coming from Tony McGuinness to the half forward line on Brett Ellison slips over. Well, it goes and gets it again, but that'll clue he's a clever player. To Hart. North don't want a goal here to the Crows. Just getting towards half time. There's the big fly. Over the back is Abernathy. McIntyre goes in after it. Taps it out. Here's a chance for Klug. But no, it's a free it kick back. A free kick in the meantime. And it will go the way of North Melbourne. And we'll go to Roberts. The Esky, as he's now known. Lost a lot of weight. Larkin doing really well tonight. Had a good quarter. Matthew Larkin is at centre half back. Clock ticks down to half time. Under a minute and a half remaining. To Mark to McCarthy. Oh, now, now that oh. should be reversed. That is stupid play for Spargo. I agree with you, Don. Right in full view of the umpire. Holding the man is the decision. So the free kick goes to Adelaide and Linda. Linda up towards half forward. Martin is in the to... thick of things and kicked out of bounds. Isn't it good to see a fullback playing in front, not yeah. holding, not scragging, putting yeah. his body in and running straight at the ball. I think Michael Martin always runs straight at the ball. That's what makes him such a good fullback. He would stand in his way. Mark and Rogers there. And a good grab taken by Stevens. Stevens at right half back. Spargo comes off, or he's going to come off for North Melbourne. Sean Smith will come on. I wonder Martin's why. taken by Maynard. Who gets it back to Tony McGuinness. He's a pretty good quarter. Slow start tonight. Only four possessions in the first term. He kicks up towards half forward. Klug, almost. Schwoss tried it off the ground. Not successful. The ball still there to be won. Still on the carpet. The ball. The umpire nearly got in the act again. McGuinness. Who soccered that goal off the ground early. North Melbourne's defence is going to be up to the occasion. Hand pass comes up in the direction of uh, Sean Smith, who's just come onto the ground. He kicks up towards centre field. McCarthy, and there's the siren for half time. Pretty eventful second quarter as North Melbourne trail by two goals, one, 8 4 2 10 5. The Crows led by 11 points, but North Melbourne hit the front in that quarter peak, but Adelaide, they really did show. A lot more heart than they did at Moravan. Well, they're getting the ball out of the centre. Micken has been tremendous at the centre bounces. And a big uh, thing has been the fact, well, he's ropeable, Wayne Schimmelbush, as you see him coming onto the ground to see his players. But I think Maynard's done very, very well at centre-half. Back has taken Kerry right out of the game. Longmire has been controlled. And if you hold those good forwards, well, you're a big chance against North. And at half-time here at the MCG, excellent effort this by the Adelaide Crows. 10-5, they lead North Melbourne 8-4. There. That's the most important stat of the lot. Micken's dominated the centre yeah, bounce. It's not Micken, it's a guy's getting oh. a ball out, and one guy is doing particularly well, the centre half forward Klug, 
who is leading fairly yeah. in there. At least he's getting in there. He's not maybe getting the ball out, but he's, cre he's creating. And uh, we'll just quickly go to the f a few individual stats. And this fellow here, Felk, he's doing particularly well. He's one fellow they've really got to shut down because he does pick up a lot of kicks. German's got the job on him. And he's had, third, what, 16 on possessions up to half time. Well, Carl Delina, of course, has been recruited from Fitzroy. Great first term. And again, in the second 10 and 9, pretty good. And Tony McGuinness, well, if they get this bloke up and going, really, he can set it on fire. And he picked up the eight positions in the second quarter. Uh, he's being tagged by Stevens. And John McCarthy looked very, very dangerous early. And look at that nine and seven marks. He is a great mark, and he's kicked uh, three good goals. And Simon Dragins are on the wing. Uh, 15 off positions, not a bad effort. Have a good battle between he and Schwoz. Schwoz the first quarter, maybe, and Dragins really did come back into it. And, of course, Ian Fairley has been very impressive, Ian, at centre-half, back 10 and 3, and uh, five marks and uh, an excellent game.